Hi, and welcome back to Break 100 Golf. I'm John. You're going to love today's video because I'm going to go over Awesome Golf and some of the updates that have happened and some of the updates that are coming here in 2024, including more course play. Let's get right into it. Now, before I get started, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. It'll really help the channel to grow and allow me to continue making content like this for YouTube. So the first thing I wanted to tell you is that I've had the Garmin R10 now for a year and two months, and it is the only launch monitor that I have used. I've used it with the Garmin uh, Golf app, with Home Tee Hero, then I graduated to Awesome Golf, and then I graduated to GS Pro, primarily for the course play and the 700 golf courses. Now recently, I pretty much changed all of my practice to Awesome Golf. I love the matrix for it, how it you know, largely displays everything and very clearly for me to see it, and it is very accurate. I like the driving ranges, I like you know the shot by shot, all of it. It's very good. Every data metric that you could possibly need to help fix your golf swing is there between the Garmin R10 and Awesome Golf. So what I want to do here is talk to you about what has already came with Awesome Golf and what is about to come. So some of, I guess, the criticisms about Awesome Golf is that it didn't have enough you know, golf courses to play uh, on course. And there's four, and uh, I think three of them are you know, pretty popular to play. And I played those for probably about three or four months before I ended up getting uh, you know, GS Pro. But eventually I went back to practicing with Awesome Golf. And that's really primarily what it's for. However, there are new things to come. So let's read what took place, what was sent out to Awesome Golf users. I have a lifetime subscription to Awesome Golf and I think I purchased it last April of 2023 or so. And uh, they're going to be adding golf courses but they were disappointed that they couldn't do it by the end of 23. So let's look at what they said. So what they said was that throughout the course year, they launched Rapsodo MLM2 Pro, they launched the Refresh 3D graphics, they added shot stats and downloadable sessions in the community app, which is really nice. They launched new monthly and annual subscriptions, they launched face impact location on compatible launch monitors, and they launched on Foresight Sports, GC3, GC Quad, GC Hawk, and Bushnell Golf Launch Pro. They made many more refinements and improvements. They also increased their staff size almost triple in that time period. So what they really did was in the beginning of this email, they basically said, Dear Awesome Golfers, 2023 has been the busiest year ever for golf, and it's been brilliant. We have certainly reached some important milestones which have set us up for an amazing 2024, although unfortunately, there were some things we couldn't release this year. And what they're talking about is they're talking about course play. And essentially, because of you know, the, the cost of it to, you know, to get the licensing and all that, uh, it was a little bit uh, prohibitive for them. And they're close to confirming a new licensing deal. That's what they said. And they wanted well-known golf courses. And they mentioned that in September of 2023, they were searching for a viable solution to license golf courses, and they couldn't find a way to include well-known courses with significant planning, high licensing fees, and extensive development. So that's all changing. And then in the beginning of April of 2024, they sent out another email. Here's the gist of that. Dear Awesome Golfers, as we approach the golfing season in the Northern Hemisphere, we hope that your launch monitors have facilitated improvements in your game across the winter as we transition to more outside golf. And then they go back to, we are pleased to announce that we have successfully licensed a small selection of well-known 18 hole courses from around the world. Development is in progress, but there is still a long way to go. Our plan is to release them in sets of two courses at a time with six courses to be added in total. And then they go on to say they appreciate our patience, which I certainly appreciate. So that's really good news because the four courses that they have are only nine holes. They are non-existent cor courses, they are fictional courses, and it would be really nice to have 
10 golf courses, including six that are real world golf courses to play with awesome golf, especially considering for $350, you can get a lifetime subscription. And that's a really, really nice deal. They continue to improve everything with the graphics. So then a few weeks later, I believe it was on April 18th, 2024, third week of April, they sent out another email and said, hi there, thank you for being an awesome golf subscriber. We're writing to let you know about the latest update version 2.6.0 for Awesome Golf Simulator. Available now on iOS, Android, and PC. So they changed color preferences. Players can now choose from eight colors on their profile, which will also reflect in-game modes and shot tracers. Multiple players can have the same color at the same time too. Then they wanted to say, they added hole names, descriptions, and intermediate markers in virtual golf. Each of our exclusive nine hole courses, Spring Park Hills, Island Beach, Desert Canyon, and Valley Pines, now all have hole names and descriptions shown on the hole flyover. So essentially they're making it more realistic. These descriptions also contain advice on how to play each hole. On dog leg holes, there are now intermediate markers in the fairways on the corners as a visual aid. Moving on, three hole selections in virtual golf. So now when you select to play three random holes on a course, these can now be any of the par threes, fours, and fives available. Previously, a random three hole selection would always include one par three, par four, and par five. And then they go on to say, if you have any questions, to please visit the support page. And in case they missed it, that there's a community update for April. So this is all good news, and I'm really excited about them adding these extra courses because I don't really find myself using awesome golf to play any of the golf courses because quite frankly GS Pro has over 700 golf courses however I do use awesome golf now almost exclusively for my practice and that's really what it's all about however they're going to build on it and they're going to be adding these golf courses to their repertoire all right, so let me go down into the garage. I'm gonna show you some of the practice and I'll put that up on the screen uh, with some screenshots to zoom in on the computer part of it so it's a little bit clearer for you even though I do have a great projector. And we'll do the practice mode and then I'll show you, I think uh, like nine, seven and driver. And then I'll go out on one of the, we'll do Spring Park Hills, one of the golf courses and I'll play like five holes or something like that. Not sure exactly holes, how many holes I'll play but uh, We'll get you some course play so you can see what that's all about. And I'll make that as crystal clear as I possibly can for you. And then we'll come back upstairs and we'll wrap things up. It's about as perfect as I can do it right there. Seven iron.
216 to the pin. Get up there. Nice. That's a birdie. Ninety one yards, I'm gonna hit a fifty six degree. That's good enough. That's par. Next hole, 163 yards. Next hole, 136 yards. Get an easy nine here. Too hard. Okay, it's gonna stay on the green. That's good, that's par. I like it. Ninety two yards to the pin, we'll hit a fifty six degree. I don't know if that's enough. I guess it was. Spin, spin, spin. Oh. All right, that's par. All right, last hole we're gonna play. Got two of three to the pin here. I'm gonna hit a three hybrid. Oh, that should be all over it. Too far. Stop. Is that on the green or on the fringe? On the fringe. All right, so. Eighteen yards of the pin, grab a sixty degree. I was literally eighteen inches from the green. 
That stinks. So I have a chance here to get par. Oh, almost hit the hole. All right. So I believe that's par. Birdie. <laughs> All right, so five holes. I'm two under par. Can't do better than that. All right, so through five holes, I'm two under par on Spring Hills in awesome golf, and we're gonna go upstairs and wrap things up. Well, that's about it for today's video. I certainly do appreciate you watching today. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.